Frank McGann. I'm a master gardener from the Alachua County Extension Office. And this morning we're visiting a fellow master gardener, Mary Ann Harris. And we're going to go through the Florida Friendly Landscape Home Recognition Checklist. This is uh, the instrument that we use to determine if a yard meets the Florida Friendly criteria. Um, we look at, the, of course, the nine principles, the right plant, the right place. We look at how people water and fertilize. We look at how they control pests. Uh, we look at, to see if they use mulch, uh, rain barrels, um, have plants or other means of attracting wildlife. And there are two levels. There are silver level and gold level recognition. And they're based on points that um, work through with Marianne as we walk around her yard this morning. So the why is the Florida Friendly Landscaping Program important? Well for many reasons. Uh, primarily it saves water, it reduces fertilizer runoff, it manages pests in, in a integrated pest management way so that there's a minimal amount of uh, pesticides and insecticides. And the result is really a beautiful yard that's interesting, colorful, diverse, and full of wildlife. So, if you would be happen to be interested in having your yard assessed by master gardeners, here's the way you do that. Contact your local county extension office. A team of master gardeners will get back with you, will make an appointment to visit based on your, uh, your needs for time and date. Uh, the service is free and at the end of the service, if you qualify for a silver or gold, you'll get a beautiful land, uh, landscape sign to put in your front yard. If there are issues, then we will you know, offer our suggestions about how to remediate those. Um, so I hope that more and more people will be interested in this process. Good morning. Greg McGann from the Alachua County Master Gardeners. And today we're out here to present a Florida Friendly Landscape yard sign to the homeowner, Mary Ann Harris. We were out here about two or three weeks ago uh, to do our original survey. Mary Ann took care of a couple issues. She had a little bit of uh, invasive plants that had to be removed. So uh, this is the sign that we present. It's a way of alerting your neighbors to the fact that you have developed a Florida friendly landscape. We hope it uh, engenders questions about what does that mean? How did you do that? And that sort of thing. One thing that you need to be aware of if you live in an HOA is that sometimes there are restrictions on having signs in your yard. So please check that out and make certain that it's, it's not gonna get you a violation.